What's going on YouTube? Omar aka T-Bow back with you again. So it's a relatively nice afternoon out and I'm out here to test something new for me. Um, you guys know I like to set up my cones, I like to run, and I was talking with one of my YouTube buddies, Billy Kelly, uh, about timing systems. He runs Kyosho Mini Z's and he has a couple options. He has an iPhone app that he uses for timing his mini Z's as well as a standalone unit um, that he uses that'll keep track of that time. I had asked him if the phone one would was available for Android and he said he didn't know and I looked into it and it wasn't. I was able to find on the Android app store a free app called Lap Tracks, L-A-P-T-R-A-X and the designer says that you can use it for slot cars, RC cars, things like that. So I'm curious to see if it's going to work in my typical fashion. Um, I've come out, I brought the Traxxas 4 GT with me today and I've set up a little course with my cones and I am going to use the app on my phone and see if it'll actually track. So I want to bring you guys along with me while I do this experiment, just to see how it goes. Um, I am going to get off of my little Osmo Pocket now and get my course set up, get the app going, and then we'll give it a try and see how it goes. I hope this shows up on video and I'm gonna show you guys how this app works. Lap tracks ready. Announcer, normal. I'm going to choose motion. There is a color tracks option, which will do by color. But with this Ford GT being gunmetal and a lot of this basketball court being gray, when I first tried it, it just couldn't see it. So I'm going to do motion. Motion detection mode. Camera on. Set locations exposure lock. And let's set the exposure lock. Location and exposure set. Adjust okay. motion detection. Uh... I don't know how to do the adjust motion detection, but I guess we'll try. Um, I wonder if I can just push the car. Okay, look at that. It says motion detection normal. So we'll choose it. And we'll do a motion race. Uh, new racer. Racer 2. We'll do cancel, we'll select, motion, okay. One racer selected. Okay. Swipe right for race options. I'm gonna now switch to the GoPro and we'll see if this actually ends up working. So we got a countdown timer. I went and I set the motion detection to very fast. We're gonna have a countdown and a beep, kind of Formula One start. Hopefully I don't drive like a baboon here. Picked up that first lap. Good, got the second lap. Awesome, picked up the third lap. Missed that lap. Okay, so got that one. Time is double. Miss that lap. Got that one. And again, I'm still learning like positioning on this, how the light affects it. You missed that one. 
And now I'm just hitting all my cones. GoPro, stop recording. Okay guys, I have it set up. I'm just starting to get used to it. It definitely has some issues picking up some of the laps. It's not perfect. And I think part of it has to do with the fact that it's um, a weird light out. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous right now for what it is, but the camera might be having issues. You can set the exposure, which I did. And then there's another aspect to it when I'm crossing the finish line, it's having some issues sometimes picking up the car. Um, I did notice there's an option to speed up the motion detection. So I put the motion detection to high in the hopes that it'll pick it up better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. It has a cool countdown started. F1 countdown. And then it'll give you a horn. So we'll get ready and see how we do here. And hopefully I don't drive like a complete noob. Okay, picked up that first lap. Okay, pretty good. Picked up the second lap. See how we do over here going into the third lap. Good. Got the third lap going. Ooh, not bad so far. This is the most consistent it's been for me. Um, I've run it about three times now. What I've been doing is I've been very careful to kind of bring the car in where I know the camera's gonna pick it up. So, so far so good. And then of course I'll do more testing with this in different light conditions. I'm really not going all out because I don't want to knock down my cones. So far, so good. We've gotten all 10 of our laps in. Nice little final lap bell. Pretty Great neat. Summary. Fastest lap. Lap 12, 11.59 seconds. Awesome. Slowest lap. Lap 1, 14.13 seconds. Average Ooh. lap time, 11.90 seconds. Awesome. That actually worked out pretty well. Um, I don't want to say this is perfect, but it's a free app. So if you want to go out there and set up a course and time yourself, download it. Uh, I'm going to be playing with this app some more and get a little bit more familiar with it. And then, uh, you know, I will report back for you guys. But thanks for joining me on this one. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe and share, and I'll see you guys on the next one.